Good afternoon friends. Today I am going to show you how Kudu version 17.1 has improved to register expenses with consideration of the vendor. Because normally if you can see on my screen the expenses can be paid by company or can be reimbursed to employee. So in case if any expense is paid by company, now Odoo has introduced a feature to register vendor or describe the vendor over here. In that case, how it will differ. So first of all, I will show you uh, the setting of expenses, which is normal. I can enable reimburse in pay slip, so I will not going to pay any expenses uh, as and when it incurred. And employee expense journal uh, can be registered in a, a journal which is vendor bill or I can create a new journal like employee expenses. Okay, so it will create a new journal type will be miscellaneous. EMPE is my, or I can say a purchase journal and then it is given over here. Default expense account is kind of purchase expense. Okay. Just all thing will be done over here. So all the expense which I am going to register will be registered under employee expenses. Okay, and then payment method I have defined manual uh, uh, bank and manual cash. And uh, these are the default category. So I can define now expense categories and map my product over here. So let's say if I am saying that communication uh, is the uh, category, uh, which will be expense category and expense account will be telephone expense, which I can register over here. And I can also reinvoice to my customer based on the cost or sales price. Okay. So how do I find this? Uh, product and let's see that uh, so over here I have uh, different different you know products so over here I will find my products communication which automatically created which can be expensed and it will define at cost over here according to at cost over here here I have travel and accommodation which I want to register by sales price and expense account is this. So in my product I will find travel and accommodation which is based on sales price. So sales price is fixed at 2000 over this particular product which is can be expensed. Right and you can see expense account has been fixed over here by default because it is driven over here. Now. When I register my expense, I will create a new expense and say travel expenses. So category will be by default travel and accommodation. And I say I want to register thousand. Okay. So here, as soon as I convert into company, then I can choose a vendor. I can select my vendor who is transportation company and if I want to bill this to customer then I can see that the confirm sales order that I will uh, show you next but now I am registering an expense worth thousand and vendor is transportation company and I am creating a report okay and then I will submit to my manager and manager will approve So it will post the journal entries and it will be marked as the paid. So as soon as I go to my accounting dashboard, I will find vendor bills and miscellaneous operations and inventory and exchange difference and these employee expenses where it should go. Ideally, currently it is uh, not here, but it will be mark an entry and inside accounting employee expense, I will find the latest transaction which is marked just a minute ago, 
over here and inside journal entry I will see the partner name is transportation company so now you can see the partner is changed from Mustafa Rahi to transportation company because this is the actual vendor from whom I have purchased these services and thousand rupees is including the GST so this is how it will make difference over the vendor bill you cannot see any vendor bill because vendor is already marked over there now if I register an expense of fuel expense In my expense, I will create a new expense, fuel expenses. So it will go to other expense and then I will mark 300 rupees. And I want reimbursement, I don't want to register any vendor. Okay, so as soon as I create a report and submit to manager, approve the post channel entries and register payment, and I will going to receive this amount by cash from my accountant here now if I refresh you will find the fuel expense and my name is a vendor because I have got reimbursement without uh, any vendor because I myself have, has paid for this fuel and company has reimbursed me so uh, this is the difference the third thing is and now how you re can reinvoice to your customer let's say you are preparing a sales order for any of your services or product so over here you are preparing a sales order for your customer for and you are selling some product worth thousand rupees worth two thousand rupees and you confirm it so it will become as a sales order number nine now to fulfill this sales order number nine you are going to incur some of the expenses so over here if i go to expense category now over here i want to say like travel and accommodation to be done at sales price okay so what i will do is i will register a travel expense over here at my sales price so travel for sales order 9 okay and then i mark maybe 100 rupees for my travel expense and i want to reinvoice this to customer okay and i would like to mark my transportation company over here so what i incur is 100 rupees of expense to fulfill sales order number 9 and i am creating a report so now in the sales order you can see this is here but as soon as I submit to manager and approve it is still not there and then post channel entries. So inside my sales order now I can see travel and accommodation as a reinvoice expense but the unit price is 2000. Wow! What I have registered is 100 only in my expense but due to the policy of this category I can reinvoice at a sales price of my product which is 2000 rupees hence it is now registering the expense so this is how you can incur an expense and register like this and then inside your sales order you can refresh this first before you create an invoice you can see sales order number 9 has an additional line okay and then I can create invoice and then it will do the needful for the rest of the transaction okay so now you can see in journal item stop you know product 1 as well as this additional services has been registered as a sales and counterpart has been registered under the expense so this is how now you can register the expenses with consideration of vendor also and how you can re-invoice the expenses to your customer based on your previous sales order 
Hope this will help many accountant and employee to settle down and register their expenses on a regular basis based on the nature of business. Thank you very much.